Hey everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at the Microsoft Surface Duo. But we're not gonna be reviewing the Surface Duo as a phone replacement, rather I wanna to talk to you guys about using the Surface Duo as a companion device and a productivity tool. Namely, I wanna focus on utilization of the Surface Pen and using it across both screens. Now the Surface Duo isn't released in Australia, but I work for a pretty awesome company that has a few of these laying around, and I've had the absolute pleasure of using it for about a month. Before I have to hand it off to somebody else though, I figured I'd give a quick review and let you guys know how I've been using the Duo as a productivity tool. Of course, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into it. So I've just factory reset the Duo. I've done a very quick setup of the device, and I'm using it now with the Surface Slim Pen. The reason I'm using the Slim Pen, well, there's actually three reasons. The first is that the Slim Pen uh, magnetizes the side of the Duo and it stays on there quite easily. And you see it's almost like it was designed for it where it fits perfectly against the side of the Duo. The second reason is that when I open up the Duo and sign in for the first time using the right hand side fingerprint reader and I press the Surface Slim Pen on the screen here, the Duo actually recognizes it says Surface Pen Detected. Tap here to customize your settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pair a new Surface device, hold the back of the Surface Pen, the white light's gonna flash, and then it's gonna say, let's pair up that pen. And now the Surface Pen has paired up to the Duo. You can see here that I can also see the battery of the pen. I can rename the pen. So I can choose the writing, whether I'm writing with my left hand or my right hand. And I found that you can use either the Surface Pen or the Surface Slim Pen, but I found the Surface Slim Pen had better pressure sensitivity on the Joy than what the regular Surface Pen does have. So this video is focusing on productivity of the Surface Joy, and I wanted to focus on utilizing the Surface Pen. So I've got five demos to show you where the Surface Pen really shines on the Surface Joy. The first one I wanna show you is swiping to the left-hand side here, you can see that we have our tasks and our sticky notes. We get the option of a text note, an ink note, a voice note, or an image. If I select ink note, it gives me the full page here on the left-hand side, but if I lift up, place it into the middle, I can naturally create a brand new note using the back of the pen to erase, and I can also see my sticky notes on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna drop that down for a second. I'm gonna select the pen, and now I'm just gonna quickly take a note saying, this is the duo. And I can see here that as I'm writing this onto my sticky note, on the left-hand side here, I can see all my other sticky notes and I can see that this note is automatically saving across. Using the pen on the duo is really quite easy, quite simple. Using the back of the pen, it works as an eraser so I could rub out any little bits that I don't want there. I can select on the color of this sticky note to give it just different customizable colors. And also with the pen here, I'm just gonna select a different color for you to see. We're gonna go for pink. If I press lighter or harder, you see it has that pressure sensitivity where more or less ink comes out onto the screen here. So being able to take notes on the Surface Duo, just quickly taking a sticky note is really quite easy, quite simple. And the fact that this is synced up to my Microsoft account means that I'll be able to read and see this note again on my Windows 10 PC. Tip number two is using one of my favorite apps out, OneNote. So I'm just gonna launch OneNote really quickly by opening up my Microsoft folder, selecting on OneNote, and you can see here we're already in my Aldo demo notebook. I've got a page here, I've got a section here called Joy, and I've got an untitled page. Again, I'm gonna go full screen for a second. I'm gonna lift up drag OneNote into the center of the page here, and it's gonna go from a single page over to a double. And you can see on the left-hand side, I have all my notebooks and my pages. And on the right-hand side, I actually have the note that I'm gonna start writing in. As soon as I press the joy to the screen, it launches me straight into writing with a pen. I'm gonna erase that for a second, and I'm gonna show you actually what I've been using for a while in OneNote. Having my notebooks and my pages on the left-hand side is also and then being able to write on the right hand side is cool. But what I found myself doing more and more if I'm just taking notes in OneNote is I'd actually lift up the joy, I'd rotate it, I'd go into portrait mode, and then I'd let OneNote take over the whole screen. And you can see here, I now have this big writing pad in front of me. To make it a bit easier, I'm actually just gonna go into the options and the settings here. And then I'm gonna actually add ruled lines. So if I zoom in here, you can see that I'm taking notes now with the ruled lines. If I zoom out, I can see more of the page. The Joy fits quite
quite comfortably on the table here. Being able to lay it down essentially flat means that it's not sliding around. I'm gonna actually back out for a second and I'm gonna show you one of my previous notebooks. So I've actually just quickly navigated to a OneNote page that I was using in writing out where I was thinking of the different ways to use a Surface Duo. All of this was written on the Surface Duo itself. I created this all using this device, testing it out. One of the best things I felt was using it for mind mapping. As you can see here, I love mind mapping and I always write things out. And mind mapping on the Duo is so easy and simple. When the pen goes near the screen, but it doesn't have to touch it, you notice that it pairs up and we get the controls of the pen right here. Let's bring that towards the center of the screen. On the right hand side, we have the lasso. If I select on the lasso, I can actually just circle around. Say I wanted to move the word inking around, select around the word inking, grab it in the center with the, the pen, and now I can move it freely around the page. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, or I can put it back to where I want it to be. And you can see here that as I was writing out different ways of using the Duo, I was thinking of you know using it in inking, using it in PowerPoint and Teams, um, navigation of the screen, so using it more like a traditional stylus, editing photos in OneNote and PDF annotations, and then of course, I've got some thoughts around the upgrades I'd like to see, but I'll leave the upgrades for another day. But utilizing the Surface Duo in OneNote, really easy, really powerful. I preferred using it in the full screen or dual screen mode, but you can just as simply have it with two apps side by side, lift up, put your OneNote on the right hand side here so you can be taking your notes. And on the left hand side, you could have things like your messages, your Outlook, your email, or a web page. So utilizing the joy for inking in OneNote, I thought it was just phenomenal, especially for note taking within meetings, or basically using the pen just to take down your OneNote notes. The third thing I wanted to show you was around annotating photos, because again, I see this as a productivity device, and if you're out in the field or if you're doing things where you wanna mark something up and send it off to somebody, having the ability to quickly take a photo using the camera and then the pen to mark it up is really quite powerful. So if I select my photos app here, you can see I've got a couple of banners for my YouTube channel that I was you know, working out and making sure that they fit. If I wanted to edit these and then send off my thoughts to somebody, I'd simply just have to open up the photo, select on the edit page here, and here we've got the option of enhancing it and doing you know, the Google suggestions, cropping it, adjusting it. If we scroll all the way to the right though, we have the option of marking it up. The option of marking up allows you to use the pen down the bottom here. You have a few simple colors you can pick from. You can grab things and move them around. Again, you can see that pen sensitivity in the thickness and the thinness of that circle. You can add in that highlighter if you wanted to highlight different things on the page here. And then of course, you can actually type text straight into it. So the ability to quickly take a photo, mark it up with the pen or type over it, and then save it and send that off to somebody. Again, really quite powerful when you're on the go and you need to mark something up. And this doesn't work just for photos. This could also work for screenshots or anything of that nature. So the next thing I wanna show you is marking up, annotating, and signing PDF documents on the Joy. We're gonna be using the Microsoft Office app that's pre-installed on here. And I'm gonna open up a PDF document. So you can see here, I've opened up a PDF document that saves my OneDrive. In the top right hand corner, I've got the option of editing, and this is gonna allow me to use a few basic colors and highlighters to mark up and write all over the screen here. But also back in that top right hand corner, we have the option of signature. So it says signature mode button. If I select on this, it's gonna ask me to tap where I wish to sign, and maybe I want it to sign right here where it says message. It's gonna open up a big box, and it's gonna give me the option, a few different colors here, and it's gonna give me the option to store my signature. I'm gonna write in my name, and then I'm just gonna hit okay. It's gonna let me to move that around, make it bigger or make it smaller. If I'm happy with that, I simply select the top right hand button of complete, or I can go ahead and delete it and write it again. For this one, I'm just gonna hit complete, and now it's gonna save the changes. If we go back and open that document, or if we just look at it once it's completed, you can see that I've now signed over this document. Again, really quite powerful, the fact that I can open up a PDF document on the Joy, grab the pen, mark up, annotate, and sign on this document, and then share it to wherever it needs to go. Now, the last thing I wanna show you with the Surface Joy is how you can use it to make your presentations a lot more engaging, especially when you're doing it remotely or doing it from the Joy. You can see here on the left-hand side, I'm on a Teams call, and on the right-hand side, I have a presentation. From the Joy, I'm gonna go Options, Share, 
and share screen. You can see on the right hand side here, because it knows that I have PowerPoint open, it's gonna share that screen. On the left hand side, I can still see the people within that call, still having the chat menu running if I needed to. But on the right hand side, I have the option of sharing and annotating my screen. If I hit the play button on the presentation, it turns me into presenter mode on the Joy. I can go ahead and using that pen, instead of just presenting the slides to people, I'm gonna go ahead and annotate all over this by just getting the pen on the screen, moving it around, jumping over to the next slide here and continue drawing on that screen. So the ability to annotate, mark up and write during presentations while having my teams on the left-hand side, my presentation on the right-hand side is again, extremely powerful because it lets me make even more engaging presentations when I'm working remotely, I can utilize that Surface Pen to really highlight features within that presentation. And I can still be engaged in what's happening in that Teams call. On the other screen, I can have my chat open. So utilizing the pen, the dual screens of the Joy is really powerful for when you're running remote demonstrations, especially on the go. So there you have it. That's my thoughts around the Microsoft Surface Joy and using it as a productivity tool and focusing on the pen. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.